And so I think the uh, I think the Delver deck actually has the edge. I think Vapor Snag definitely has a thing, but I think that Red Green is going to win this. Okay. That's my prediction. I mean, it absolutely can. I just love how it's so direct, it's so straightforward, it packs a big punch, a lot of it's hasty. Ooh, turn one Delver though, that's gonna go a long way to, to what you were just saying. Yeah, the, uh, well, Nick, Nick does exactly what he wants to do with the turn one Delver. And turn, so does Nathan. Yeah, turn one uh, Flips Final Mana Leak, so <sighs> this, <laughs> you know, I was saying yesterday how much I actually like Delver of Secrets, uh -huh. but this is the, the one play that a lot of people are very, very hateful of. You know, they're like, really? Flip your mana leak? I don't get to do anything. You know, they're taking like six damage, it feels like almost at least. This is the, <laughs> this is one of the things that people dislike, so obviously just say go. I mean, this could be a turn two sword, but instead, I don't even know what it's going to be. Yeah, he does have sword here, and he knows Nick has mana leak. But see, this is actually an advantage for Nathan. He knows Nick has mana leak. Otherwise, he may just sure. run it into it. But he has mana leak, so what are you going to do, right? Well, I mean, you know he plays mana leak, so what's the... You know what I mean? Like, it's it's one of his cards. True. It's, it's something true. you need to, to play around. You need the opportunity. You, you know, I think it's just more like this this feeling. You know, it's yeah. it's like it's not that it's there. It's just that you that you see that happen, and you're just like, great. I mean, people look at mana leak, and they're like, oh, mana leak, and then it's like, but sword sword is way more threatening than mana leak. So Nick, you know, what is he supposed to do? Not counter it? Oh, you can have your sword because I have mana leak, and it's obviously way better. <laughs> you know, like no. I mean, mana leak sure. does not attack. Ooh, these all <laughs> resolve, so he can actually. <coughs> Bless you. <coughs> Excuse me. Twice. Jeez. So yeah, he's, so Nathan he, resolves if he hits green, a land. So he yeah, he can just play just, the sword right through mana. Leak. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, it's interesting, you know, Nathan able to try to overcome the mana leak this way. Green sun for one, and birds of paradise. Ponder from Nick is uh, providing us uh, shuffling, entertainment in the form of shuffling there. You've been doing coverage too long. I think I have. <laughs> now, now you get this kind of perverse entertainment from watching people shuffle. <laughs> I don't think I was actually entertained. It was more like oh, all right. I'm just saying I was. <laughs> totally just all right, lying. So, so, so the truth comes out. Joey yeah. Pasco not entertained by shuffling. And uh, Delver gets in again. Well, insect right, So Leak is still up, but it's not going to do it here. Well, it'll at least prevent an equip if that's what he that's, wants to do. I mean, if he wants to burn a Leak on that. Does he have a, uh, a Divine Offering? That's the question. Definitely yeah, as far as in the that thing just resolved. So vapor snag that probably. That's what, if, if you're if you're Nathan, you're not surprised if a vapor snag comes down here, and it does. Yeah. So the divine offering actually is uh, is in his board. So, so it doesn't oop, have oop, to this it is here. close. So so what needs to happen is he needs to float a green so that he can replay his elf. But he almost picked it up and put it in his hand before floating the green, and he was just going to replay it. And it looks like he's talking to the judge right now about whether it's too late for him to have said, "Look, I floated a green mana." It is yeah. too late. So it, it, it briefly touched the rest of his hand, and I think that's the line that it gets crossed there. Yeah. And that could be a costly mistake. You know, having access to another creature and an extra mana can, can mean a lot uh, down the stretch. It also sometimes doesn't, so we'll just have to see. So Nick still has very solid pressure here, but if he does not have a way to get in the way of... I mean, I'm assuming one of the... Well, actually, now I know, of course, that one of the birds is going to get equipped. But even even if the elf was gone, I mean, I think you'd rather have it on a bird anyway because, yeah. you know, like, Snapcaster Mage can't come down and jump block. Right. If you connect with that sword, he's going to gain, like, three or four life. You know, it's funny. That sword being in his... Or that uh, elf being in his hand might actually just be better for him. Right? Like, he gains more life here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, bonfire you? Was this a bonfire off the top or just But a, why would you do that? No. He, you know he has leak. Odd. And, yeah, that was just a... Equip this, attack you. Yeah, so I guess he just... I mean... was it? He just knew it was just going to get leaked, but he just figured I'll trade my bonfire for a leak? I don't know why you would. 
Well, that's what he did. He traded his bonfire for a mana leak yeah. and then equipped his. Uh, I mean, I like the fact that he got to get in with the bird. Yeah, so he was able to get in. Uh, life totals will be changing momentarily. Thought, Thought scour, scour for Nick. Thought scour. Probe. And he draws. This is an important draw step. Another mana, mana leak. leak. Yeah. Now, Nathan probably thinks that the coast is clear for as far as mana leak goes, so he might play into one, but he just did before, even though he knew his opponent had it, so. All right. The beats continue. I think this race favors Nathan pretty heavily because he can, like, when he draws his card, he's going to have four cards in hand. He can just gain four. Yeah, and he just drew Galvanic Blast. Oh, that's so a nice draw as that's well. that's just going to... Attack with my bird. I love that. Any any deck that enables Bird of Paradise beatdowns yeah. makes me very happy. I mean, that's just any deck with swords. Yeah, like. well, and I remember when I first started playing again, my first real standard deck was a uh, was an exalted, like, Rafik of the Many deck. And uh, Birds did some serious work in that deck. Okay, so Nathan plays Indeed. Daybreak Ranger that gets the second leak out of Nick's hand. And I don't know why you're even playing the Elf here. <laughs> I want yeah, those cards in my elf. hand, you know? Just... I mean, it does, like, looks like he's used up two mana leaks, which I think is all he has. <laughs> no, he has, he has all four. Oh, he does run four? Yeah. Okay. I know there were uh, players that just ran two. Oh, those are more the Esper mid-range decks, though, right? This is just the yeah. straight red, uh, blue-white, so that makes sense. So Nick, uh, trying to figure out what to do. I believe if he attacks, it gets uh, Galvanic Blasted. The Aberration, that is. Sure. And they, yeah, there it is. Attack. Galvanic Blast. All right, Nick, you have six mana, and you pass It just back. says go. This is great. This, this is a great spot for Nathan. Yeah, uh, Nick needs Snapcaster. Um, he's, got, he's got Plains Caverns. No wonder he passed. He has nothing. He has he's just flooding out a little bit nothing. here? Nothing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's rough. Yeah, that can happen with these with these decks, uh, with these uh, blue white decks, if they don't get their Moreland Haunt going. Yeah, you know that does represent a big part of their late game because they do tend to be kind of very threat. Like they're just like, this is my threat. This is going to kill you if you deal with this. Then a lot of times the backup plan becomes like sword on a token or whatever. All right, Huntmaster comes down. So now Nathan has pushed a huge lead out here. It's a Snapcaster Mage, but it's a little late for Nick. But it is a bit late. He can yeah, and he's just going to scoop him up. Yeah. All right, so Nathan takes game one of the finals here. Yeah, going the way you said. Uh, you expected but, it to go. Uh, but I have to say that you, you, your logic made a lot of sense, and the fact that Nick just flooded out yeah, I mean, was he, a big factor there. I mean, that to, that to be said, though, I mean, he, did, he got value off of, his, uh, off of both of his mana leaks when he really didn't need to. I mean, it, yeah. when, when Nathan didn't need to let him do that. Yeah, it was... Uh, the thing was, Nathan had just so many threats. Threat, 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 threat. Well, right. I like, mean, but it's interesting, right? Because we say that, mm -hmm. and that was a game where he resolved Llanowar Elves, Bird of Paradise, Birds of Paradise. Okay. Like, yeah. The whole thing was threats? he resolved the sword. It was That's the what sword. It is. It's right? a sword that made everything into a threat. He also had yeah. Bonfire, then he had, Hunt he, then he had Daybreak Ranger, then he had Huntmaster. Those are the threats I'm talking about. Sword, Bonfire, Huntmaster, yeah. Daybreak Ranger. And he, even though two of the three got mana leaked, he just had more to go. He also yeah. had a Stranguru guy and ended, ended yeah. up hitting play. And him knowing that that mana leak was there allowed him to make a decision, which I don't know if he would have made the decision on turn two, where he went turn two, um, uh, Green Sun Zenith for birds, and then play, yes. an, play another bird. Oh, that was he was you know? definitely so, saying, "Look, I can afford to get right. this mana leaked." Right. So thank you, Delver of Secrets, for showing me that my opponent had mana leak. All right, everybody. <laughs> Defender of Delver, Joey Pasco. <laughs> I'm. I mean, that action. That's. It's I'm, true. It's no, true. I'm it not, is a thing. I'm not kidding. It's true. He knew his opponent had mana leak. He was able to play around it I just mean, because of that. He may not have played around it. That being that said, way. if he just windmill slams the sword on turn two into open mana leak, then he's made a grave error. Right. So, but the whole thing is now he at least knows it's there. Yeah. So it's like a, you know, a sure thing to, if sure. he plays around, he found a way to play around it, you know, I mean, just with the certainty that his opponent had you it. You say and, this, but then he also just jammed that bonfire right into it. So well, I don't yeah, know, it, well, it maybe was he the, just didn't care. At that point, it was the miracle. It was like, do I cast this now or do I just hold it? I mean, because you know? it did allow him a follow-up play. So he's like, look, this is going to get leaked. Right. And now I can land my, I think it was a Geist, a Strangler Geist or something like yeah, that. Yeah, right? something like that, yeah. 
Actually, he may have just. Yeah, he definitely played something else. You're right. I can't even remember what it was. Elf, and that wouldn't have been worth it. But anyway. Right, but yeah, either way, he he mm -hmm. uh, he got the leak out of his opponent's hand that he knew was was there, and then the second leak that he didn't know was there got the daybreak ranger. But yeah. that like that allowed said, him to threat, resolve threat, Huntmaster. Threat, right. Then he has yeah. Huntmaster. He just and played it's just like, through. What are you What are you gonna do? Yeah. Um, so we uh, we're gonna ask you guys. One last question for the standard portion. We're going to be doing the same thing again during the top eight of the legacy portion later tonight. So uh, you still have more chances to win. Uh, for the finals, we always give away a Gen Con badge. So that's what that's the prize here. The prize I'm gonna on be the there. line. You're going to be at Gen Con. Yeah. Do you have a badge already? Well, yeah. I'm I'm going to be uh, <laughs> commentating. Well, then I guess you have a badge. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. They win. didn't tell me. You hope you have a badge. Wait. Yeah. I can win. <laughs> no, you can't. Okay. I don't know if you know the answer to this one. <laughs> I do know the answer okay. to this one. So, uh, and let's hope Jeremy can type this up in, in a good way, because, uh, you know, it, I, I ask them in a sort of long-winded way, but, uh, yeah, look, Jer Jeremy agrees. Uh, <laughs> so, right. So on, on Twitter, tweet your answer uh, with the SCG Premium hashtag, and one random correct answer will win a Gen Con badge. So uh, for those of you who watch all the time or you know are aware of the magic community you, you know or you might know that both marshall and i host podcasts yep uh we're, we're the hosts of different podcasts but we're both the hosts of podcasts so name one of the podcasts that either marshall or i uh are, are hosts of that's it that's it yeah if, if you listen to so my podcast really if you listen that to you one that joey's been on i don't think you would have been able to answer that <laughs> please <laughs> yeah actually th I, I think uh, there's an acceptable answer that, uh, you know... I think it I, counts. Right, there's, there's, a, a, there's, you know, there's two podcasts, you know, one you're on, one I'm on, and then there's a third that I think is an acceptable answer that... Uh, I think so, too. ...that one of us may have it been It still on technically recently. exists. Yes, it does exist. So... It has not had an it, episode in a few months. No, but it counts still. Yes, I think it counts. Yeah. And the guys are shuffling up. Looks like uh, Nathan has kept and Nick is mulliganing. His deck doesn't worry about mulligan, you know, the first couple of mulls that much. Ponders and that kind of card can really get you out of it. Six cards, taking a look. Is it good enough to keep? He's tanking it out on this yeah, one. Yeah, this isn't a quick you, you, yes. You oh, he looks like he's flooded here. I see a lot of lands. Okay. I like think three I saw or four Snapcaster. Or something? Yeah. All right, no turn one play from Nathan. That's a big one. He's got eight one drops that he can drop. I guess uh, if something's going to go well, next way, that's, that's something. I think <laughs> well, he's just going to play it. Yeah, turn turn two, Lanowar Elf. Reasonable, not great, but... He had a Green Sun Zenith so that he could get the turn two bop or whatever he wanted anyway, but... I think Nick's hand is Phantasmal image, 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 Snapcaster, and lands. Oof. That is not that good. Snapcaster is... A very unimpressive 2 1 All flash. Right. So, does this resolve? This now, the fact that that resolves means that Nathan should now know that <clears throat> Nick does not have mana leak. Yeah. Like, he would never let that hit the table, uh, given, you know, given that, he, that he has no action. Like, yeah. he's played nothing this, this whole game yet. So. Okay, so here's Ponder from uh, from Nick. Well, he drew it. I assume he's going to cast it. <coughs> yeah. Uh, at this he point. He can also image the Staring Root Geist this turn. That's true. And Ponder. Right. Uh, and so, those, he's those are go both sweet island. Things. Looks like he's going to. Oh, he's Don't you go ponder with the first? I ponder first. Yes. Yeah, you need to know Let's what, you, what you're getting. Get the more information. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're going to ponder anyway. You cannot represent Mana Leak anymore. <laughs> not yeah, after that Geist hit. Like, not that the Geist is like such a critical spell in this matchup. It's just that he just wouldn't let it hit. Yeah. The only thing that I can think of is Nathan goes. Obviously, he doesn't have Mana Leak, and then he represents Mana Leak. Oh, oh, he has oh, two. Hey, that, oh, he, I knew he had two. I didn't expect him to actually use the second oh. right away, but yeah. Oh, and he just beats down. <laughs> He's just like, oh, you you wanted to play this game, I'll play too. I love it. I like That's it. It's actually pretty hilarious. All right, now he is opening himself up to a sword equip here, though. 
but he was open to that. Well, he was pretty much open to that anyway. Well, I mean, he uh, could have yeah, blocked, blocked or whatever, right? but yeah. I don't think that there is a sword in Nathan's hand, though. Nope, so he just has to beat down. I see a combust in Nathan's hand. He has two in the board. One, two, um, three, four, and a Huntmaster comes down, so that's going to do some work here. It's going to make a little life cushion. It's going to put a, a chump block or a trade blocker out for one of the images. But the image can come back as a copy of the Huntmaster. Yeah. With a plus one, plus one counter on it. Could also end up coming back as a copy of a flipped hunt master, <laughs> as That's a ravager true. of the fells in a certain situation. True. So there's the pond that we expected last yes. turn, but no, I mean I, I he's gonna go two geist. I actually don't don't mind that. So now he's got what is that? Cavern, Cavern. Gataxia probe, and Delver. You just ship this back. Looks like he kept, and what hmm. did he keep? Did he keep Delver? I mean, I assume so. But you can't. He, he, I mean, I guess with the probe, like it does help you dig through it, through that mess quicker. But I mean, he's got a well, he Delver's the only it. action spell out of those, and I don't think, and you, and there's yet another land. I think you just ship it. I don't think I want a Delver that bad here. Yeah, I mean. If he can keep the uh, the Huntmaster from flipping, which he did already by casting Ponder, like playing land Delver here and having having it set up for. Uh, I mean, he can probe Delver. So he goes, yeah, he, he can flip Delver off of, I assume, the probe, which I'm assuming he left on top That's of the right. library there. So he's he's very confident in being able to flip Delver. Okay, that dies. He's just like no. Yeah, so. Uh, I'd probably just do that on my turn, but. Nathan blasts the Delver. Ooh. He draws. Kessig Wolf Run. He just I think it's... Oh, oh, oh. He, just, he, he put it right onto the battlefield. Okay, I'm looking at his hand. I'm like, yeah. look, where's the Kessig Wolf No, no, he didn't even yeah, put it yeah. in his hand. He's just <laughs> he like, boom. Right <laughs> it's a miracle. So he uh, can make one, two, three, four, five. He has avail He has six mana available. He's going to green sun zenith. That's going to resolve. What do you get here for two? Another Geist? I think Nathan has this game. Nick, Nick is way too far behind at this point well it's interesting because it, it, each at each point i thought well nick's racing and he actually had the upper hand but now it looks like the the pendulum swung back towards nathan as far yeah. as the race goes i mean well he's, right he's, now, he's he, matching him geist for geist right now uh and he can hit him right now master. for two four six eight nine damage like just right now he's like uh, nick's gonna take nine yeah I is mean, that he, the case i i think uh there's no restoration angel coming. It's only he's only got three untapped, so he goes yeah. with eight. That's. Eight. I, I think I might have just attacked with the, the elf too, but. Gut shot. Okay, so my guy. Wow, so he's interesting. He's gonna take. The so two. He, this is an interesting play. So Nick yeah. gut shots his own guy, takes the two, like you said. Uh -huh. uh, Makes copies a hunt. a hunt master with the returning, image, but the image obviously has a plus one plus one counter because of the undying trigger. He's gonna Indeed. take. This was actually a very tricky play. I, I like I it. I kind of like it. I actually really block, like block. it. And it's bigger. Yeah, so he's going to take out that hunt master and. Uh, you can't combust that. It's not blue anymore, right? I believe you're right. It's not blue it's, anymore. I think it's, it's green gotta, red. Yeah, that, that's the that's the judge call there too. Yeah, because 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 combust can only hit blue and white spell, uh, right. blue and white creatures. Right. It looks blue. Yeah, it, it's, but very, it's not blue. Very blue looking. All right. Well, that was a blowout. He lost his uh, hunt master, and they traded wolves. He did take some damage in that transaction, but he also gained two of it back from that Huntmaster. Yeah, hmm. that was that was a really swingy turn. That uh, yeah, I I very much appreciate that tricky play from Nick. For sure. Also, Nathan has now shown that he has a combust, which could matter. Probe, combust, and the other card. Ooh, the other card is though a, a green sun zenith. That seems very important here, right? Now, Nick has. Oop. So there's he draws off probe. I don't know what is in his hand currently, but it looks like so Nathan has access to one, two, three, four, five, six mana. He can mm -hmm. he can play like a uh, wolfie or silver a heart silver heart yeah. or something, but that's not really going to get him through. I think he's his plan is actually just going to lean back on the. Uh, 
the strangle root guys? Well, actually, on the wolf run, like guys oh, right, wolf right, run right. and just, just keep, get in with the get in with a bunch. Yeah. yeah. Attack for. Oh, he targets it. So oh, he uses his Kessig nice. Wolf run to target it. He didn't forget about that. He's going to be able to do that again if he wants. He needs to be careful about what he commits to the board first, though. Ooh, a sword. Wow, this is... That's a nice draw. Now, did Nick draw a, re a way to interact with a sword? I mean, he can block. Right. Like, th that, that's a green strangler, guys. Attack with both. So I think his plan here is to attack with both, have one of them get traded off, and then he can wolf run one of them and then cast a sword as well. And not in that order. <laughs> sword and then wolf run. Because if he plays sword, he plays man around mana leak. If he plays it first, he's going to pay three, have three to pay for mana leak if he needs to. And then he can use the other three to activate the wolf run and kill the image. So if he does it in, in the right order, he can end this turn with a sword, pretty pretty sure sword on the table along yeah, I, with... Yeah, I like your line of thought there. Yeah. Here he so plays around the, the mana leak and, uh, and then can still kill the image. Yeah, and he can even just do it, you know... Yeah, I would have now. probably done it once the sword resolved just because, like, why, why? not? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. You yeah. can wait, yeah. Yeah. It's not as if he can counter that ability. Right. Right, like it's not like Vapor yeah. Snag is going to bring that thing back to his hand. Yeah. <laughs> so there goes the uh, the phantasmal image. Man, that Kessig Wolf run is going to do serious work this game. It already killed two images. All right, so Snapcaster, Ponder. Is that what it was? It uh, is. Yes. Dig, dig, dig. So I'm assuming he's looking for a uh, a miracle. A shuffling I think. this one. <laughs> well, not a miracle, but a um, divine offering. Yeah, yeah. You I mean, know, that's the miracle that he needs right now. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, miracle th or divine offering thankfully has miracle cost of one and a white at instant speed yeah, anytime you want. Yeah, it's a pretty nice miracle. It doesn't yeah. have to be the first card you draw, but mm, I think when you see it off the top, it probably goes <laughs> almost immediately at the sword. That is true. Or at least in your head, you're like, yeah, gonna kill this sword as soon as uh, as soon as the the opening is there for uh, for me to get the best value out of it. All right, so he gets a fresh card off the top. No idea what it is. It is a Plains. All right, this is looking very good for Nathan's end of the spe uh, Nathan's end of the deal here. He is poised. That's a Thrun, I believe. Couldn't quite see. All right, but Thrun I don't think is, is really that relevant here. This sword is going to get equipped. He's going to put it on his Llanowar Elves. Afraid. Snapcaster blocks the and vapor snag. Yeah, okay, that's that's a pseudo miracle. <laughs> I mean, that's temporary. Fine. Yeah, temporary reprieve from sort of war and peace. So he's going to go ahead and wolf so, run. He's not going to bother replaying the elf here. Yeah, so Snapcaster trades with the uh, undead strangle root geist. Right, but but the geist also got wolf ran, so it takes so it gets trample. Right, so it's it's going to you know get in for two extra damage. Um, the other guys got in for two as well. He at least got the geist off the table. Not True. that that's going to yeah. be huge, but so so Nick something. Harlow's sitting at five life, and he's facing down a sword, a wolf run, and a strangle root geist. He is going to need to come up with uh, something to not die this next turn because he is facing lethal damage. Well, he gets his own sword on the table, that's and does he have any enough. cards in hand? Uh, I don't know. Bonfire, oh, you bonfire is that off the That's top? That's also one way to do it. Oh, wow. And Nathan Anderson <laughs> again, the miracle is, is on the wrong the side winner. of the table. No, yeah, <laughs> not, not nothing against Nathan. I just meant like Nick is looking for something to get him in the game, and of course, the player already winning. 